Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first up, sorry if the lighting is really bad in here today, but it's the most miserable day outside ever. Um, but anyway, today I am gonna be doing a Zara haul with you guys. So I haven't shopped in Zara for many, many, many years. Let's just put it that way. So I personally hate the Zara online shop. I have gone on their website so many times to look at stuff and every time I've just hated it and left. Um, and if you've been on their website, I'm sure you know what I mean. And just like their style of photos and stuff is just weird and it's just, I don't like it. But I've toughed it out and here we are. I have done a massive order um, of stuff that I'm gonna run you through. First thing I actually wanted to talk about though was the packaging. So my order came in this really nice kind of cardboard box. No surprise there. But what I was actually surprised about is that the items weren't individually packaged in the plastic bags that you normally get when you um, shop online. But I'm a massive fan of this because I never understood why they put them in the plastic bags anyway. It just seems so wasteful. It's just extra packaging. And yeah, they just put it in literally a bit of paper. It was packaged really nicely. Everything was folded up. So I was quite impressed with that, whether they've just done that for style or whether it's an actual conscious effort to reduce packaging. If it is, then it gets a thumbs up from me. But yeah, let me show you guys the bits I've got. So obviously as per usual, we'll be talking about sizing, fit, quality, price, all of that jazz. Okay, so first thing I got is this top. So one thing that I saw was a recurring theme on the website is shoulder pads they seem to be everywhere at the moment do i like them i'm not sure yet um yeah this top isn't hasn't turned out how i thought it would be um so i can see why people like to wear shoulder pads because it gives you the illusion of having a smaller waist i believe that is the logic behind it However, I just feel like some sort of 80s rock band throwback. I just think I look, I, I honestly think maybe if you're smaller chested, it might work, but I don't know if it's doing me any favors whatsoever. I wouldn't mind maybe a smaller shoulder pad. Maybe this is just a bit too aggressive for me. Um, but I like this kind of length of top. It's a great little chuck on top. And then it had this little, just really simple detailing. It looks a lot more simple online. Now that it's here, I just find it, it's a little bit too fussy. So on here it says, let yourself be surprised. I am surprised that I'm wearing shoulder pads. Um, yeah, I kind of like it on paper. I didn't realize it had all of this stuff on the back. I thought it was just gonna be like a really nice kind of simple top that I could wear with loads of stuff was gonna have a little bit of shoulder pad, but this top's just turned up like on steroids. It's just a whole nother level. Before we go any further, let me recap my sizing. So generally speaking, I'm a size 16 on top and an 18 on bottom. Zara do their sizing in like small, medium, large, which is really annoying um, and it's confusing, but I have Googled and this is what Cosmo is saying. So this is, this is my source. So extra, extra smalls are six, extra smalls are eight, smalls are 10, medium, 12, large, 14, extra large, 16, and then an extra, extra large is an 18. They don't seem to do much above an 18. Um, and actually I think previously when I've looked, they didn't really have any like double XLs. So yeah, I wouldn't say they're like massively inclusive size wise, but anyway. So I got this top in a large which is actually technically a 14, but I guess it depends how you want it to fit. I mean, I don't think this top's doing anything for me, but I would say that it fits. Um, I wouldn't say that I want it in a bigger or a smaller size. I don't feel like it's too big or too small. So yeah, I'd say it actually comes up a little big considering I sized down unintentionally. And this was 18 pounds, um, which, if I liked it, yes, I think that'd be great, but I don't like it, so no. And then I have it styled up with these leather look leggings. So I have seen these leggings shared 
everywhere. Um, so I thought I had to try them for myself. So let me take the camera down. So I got these in a double XL, which is an 18. Um, and they do fit, which is fantastic, good to know. But I would say that they're not really designed for curves. So they're quite kind of tight fitting on like my hips and my bum, but then kind of like knee downwards, they're very saggy and not flattering whatsoever. They do have a little bit of give in them, but not a lot. So you'd need to get your sizing kind of spot on for these to be comfortable. I do think they're really cool jeans. Um, the quality of the leather like feels, I mean it's faux leather, but it feels good quality. It doesn't look that kind of cheap, tacky vibe. I don't feel particularly confident in them. Um, I just don't think they're doing anything for me, to be honest. And I can't really imagine myself wearing them very much. But these were only £20. So if you are looking for um, like a leather trouser, then these are actually really, really good for that price. But I would just bear in mind, they do feel very straight cut, but the quality is very good. And I actually think 20 quid is like a bargain for that. I think for me personally, I'd rather have like a coated jegging or coated jean. I just don't think I'm loving the hot, the full on leather look. Then I also picked up this. So I was really confused by this because it looked like a coat online, but it was not priced as high as a lot of the stuff. So I thought, do you know what? I like it, I'll order it and see what it turns out like. And actually, it's not technically like a coat. It's kind of like, um, a, I guess more of a jacket or like kind of like a really, really, really thick structured cardigan. But I thought this would be great to kind of layer stuff up. And I loved this kind of oh got my shoulder pads in the way i love this kind of biscuity color so if you're someone who maybe i personally i would wear this with high-waisted jeans and a t-shirt tucked in but then just chuck this on just to kind of layer it up a little bit so if you're someone who likes to chuck on a cardigan or just like something to head out the door this is perfect but you can also layer up loads of stuff underneath it to make it more cozy i always find that whenever i'm going out and about and I'm like rushing around and jumping in and out of the car. When I wear like a jumper and a coat, I end up being sweltering because for me, realistically, I don't spend a lot of time actually outside. When I do, I'm walking Rocky and I'm in my puffer jacket. But when I'm dressed up to go out for lunch, dinner, like go shopping, I don't actually need a full on massive coat. So this is great to be able to like layer it up and sort of shed layers as when you want it. Honestly, I normally really, really struggle with longer style stuff like this or like blazers, anything tailored, because I find that they're just a bit too boxy. And when you're kind of more curvy or have bigger boobs, sometimes that can just be massively unflattering. But this is actually, I feel like it's fitting me quite well. I don't know. I think I'm liking it. Does it have, po oh yes, it has pockets as well. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. But yeah, it has that kind of woolen coat vibe, but it's just a lot thinner. But I feel like this is fitting me quite well. I normally struggle. So I got this in an XL, which is a 16. Well, we think it's a 16. Um, in the sand marl color. Um, I'd say this is fitting me like spot on exactly how I'd want it. Nice and comfortable, but I still have a little bit of room under there if I do want to style it up with a kind of chunkier jumper. And this was £30, which is why I was like, surely this isn't a coat because the coats are more like £80. Um, and yeah, I just don't want to spring that much for a coat at the moment. But this is, I'm loving it. I'm actually loving it. Okay, next up, I have this kind of shirt on. So I was really intrigued by this because it has this um, twisted knot detailing in there. So I thought this would be great for curves because it's not tight. It's still really like loose, comfortable shirt material, but you have that kind of twist bit to cinch you in around your waist, which I was loving. This is very much like for me, Christmassy, more dressed up vibes. Um, yeah, like the quality is like quite good. It's like a kind of slightly chiffony 
material. I'm wearing this with a black bra. I don't think you can see it really. So it's decent quality if you can't see black through it. Um, yeah, it's like a good length as well. I did just have to get Steve to zip me up because it was kind of impossible to do by myself. But I love the kind of shape. I like that it's like a little bit more dressy, but it's still more comfortable. Um, again, this is something you could wear with jeans to dress it up. I've got it on with these leather leggings, which is far more kind of like dressy. Um, the only thing I don't like is these buttons. So it has these big chunky gold buttons here. Not really my kind of style to be perfectly honest. Um, but that is something you could easily change out if you don't like them. So I got this in an extra large. I say the sizing's perfect and this was £30. Okay, so the next outfit is definitely far more of a casual one. So first up I got this sweatshirt. I think this is beyond cute. For someone who wears like a lot of boring white black beige, I'm surprised that I like this so much, but I thought this is like the perfect kind of autumnally kind of sea green colour. Um, and I love the cut of this as well. It's cropped, it's not too cropped, um, but it's that kind of perfect cut off right on my kind of waist here. Perfect kind of length to go with high waisted jeans, leggings, whatever you want. And I love kind of basics like this because you can kind of style it with jeans and then just layer up some nice jewelry or something like that to kind of dress it up a little bit as well. So very, very versatile. Um, it's not too thick. It's nice and kind of fluffy on the inside though. It feels really good quality. Um, yeah. I really like it. So I actually got this in a size large, which I think is the equivalent of a 14. Um, so I got it a size smaller than I would normally wear, but I am actually loving the fit of this. It's like perfect for what I would want it for. Um, so I'd say if you want it more oversized, then just stay true to size. But if you want it not oversized, maybe size down. But I can't believe how cheap this was i th honestly if i were to find this in the store and pick it up I, I think they would have charged like 25 30 quid for it but it was only 10 pounds which is crazy crazy cheap especially from zara um and i think they also did this i think they had it in like a kind of lilac -y kind of color as well um but yeah i am obsessed but let me take the camera down and show you guys the jeans so i am actually really impressed with the fit of these as well um so they're this kind of really nice mid wash jeans um and they have these really nice little bits of kind of like detailing um kind of like what's it called distress detailing kind of spotted around the only thing that i'm not loving is they're more of a mid-rise. Um, they're not, if you can kind of see at the back, they're like dipping down a little bit. Um, they're not quite high-waisted enough for how I like my jeans. But having said that, they are really good quality. They feel quite nice and thick, but they're still really stretchy as well, and they have lots of give. I love this kind of little leathery tab detailing as well they look like really good quality jeans they don't look like kind of cheapy um jegging style jeans or anything like that but they're really nice and comfortable and yeah a really nice kind of mid wash so i got these in a size 18 they're fitting me like perfectly but like i said i just wish that they were like the teeny tiniest bit more high-waisted um, although having said that, I guess this is a really good kind of hype to be able to like tuck stuff into. Depends what you want really. So these are the premium skinny clover jeans and they are £30, which I actually think is really, really good pricing because they are so, so similar to um, the Topshop jeans. They're quite similar to Topshop Jamie jeans, but just not as high-waisted. So if you have those kind of jeans and you like how they fit, go check out these ones because the Topshop ones are like 40, 45 pounds. These ones are considerably cheaper. So yeah, definitely worth it. 
Right guys, I have hit disaster with this jumper, but let me quickly show it to you anyway. So I've seen a lot of jumpers like this where they have this kind of detailing here that goes under your boobs and then it's kind of like ribbed on the bottom. Thought it'd be really, really cute, flattering. I noticed there was a hole in this jumper. So I noticed there was a small hole in this jumper, but I thought, do you know what, I'll try it on and then if I like it, I could just reorder it. You know, no drama. But then I pulled it down and yeah i've made it way worse so that's awkward i mean the hole was already there so i should be able to get my money back um but obviously not ideal but it's not it isn't really working for me anyway because i mean the top bit's completely see-through let me double check what size i got this in so i got this in a size large which is the equivalent of a 14 so i mean but you know, i'm not mad about how tight it is this is all like way too high up though. Um, it just looks weird and it's extremely see-through, like extremely. I understand when you wear lighter color stuff, wearing a black bra is like not the best idea, but that is so see-through. But I liked the idea of it. It's just not, just no, just no. And obviously it has a massive hole in it as well. So this was 20 pounds. Um, I think the reason I got it in this size is because they didn't have anything bigger. Um, I do feel like generally speaking, they have a lot of stuff in small to large, but then not a lot of stuff over those sizes. So when you're shopping, make sure you filter by your size because otherwise it's extremely frustrating. Um, but apart from it being super see-through, I do like it. I'd say this is like way too tight, but I think I definitely need it in like a bigger size anyway. Yeah. Mm. Right, and I also got this. This is so not like me to order something like this. I'm kind of like surprising myself. I love a leather jacket, um, but I saw, I don't know who it was. I saw someone on like YouTube or Instagram or something um, wearing tan and I was like, do you know what that looks really good for someone who wears black all the time? I actually loved it. So I saw this jacket and was like, do you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. And I have to say, I love this kind of, it's just so autumnal, this kind of like really nice beigey biscuit color with the tan and the blue jeans, I think is such a cute combo. Oh, so it does actually do, oh, tight on the boobs. Very tight on the boobs. I don't think I'd ever wear it done up, but yeah i like this kind of buckle detail i think it's quite flattering like it's shaped very well curve friendly i'd say this is faux leather just to let you guys know so i got this in an extra large so that's like a 16 and i'd say sizing is spot on really i may struggle if i wanted to put a really chunky jumper under it but i do quite like the way it's fitting and this was 50 pounds which for a, i don't know let me know what you guys think of that. For a faux leather jacket, is that, is that a good price? I thought it was a little bit expensive. Um, but it is nice. It does have like a lot of nice kind of detailing on it. Yeah. I'm surprised that I like it. I just, I'm not entirely sure how much I would wear it. Or if I'd have enough stuff to go with it. Right, I've got a couple of dresses to run you guys through as well, but... Before I do, that jumper that I just had on a second ago, when I took it off, there was another hole. I don't know whether maybe I got a dud one or if the stitching is just really whack on them. I don't know, but I thought I should let you know if you were considering getting that jumper, that the stitching is just like falling apart. But I don't know if that's just mine or not. But I thought I would let you know. So anyway, Onto some dresses. Um, I do like to still be able to have the option to wear dresses in like winter and be able to style them up with tights and some cute boots and stuff. So I saw this one. Um, it's this really nice kind of like deep V-neck. You have a couple of little buttons here and then it's an elasticated waistband, which I love. Um, and it's nice, kind of like flowy. It's double lined, so it definitely won't be see-through. Um, and it's like a really cute little length as well. I thought this would look great styled up with maybe some like Doc Martin style boots, something like that. Um, but having said that, the sleeves are just not a vibe for me. Like each to their own, but I just don't like this kind of 
I didn't realize that they were gonna be that puffy. Um, yeah, it's not, it's just not my cup of tea. I just don't think it's as flattering having a puffy sleeve like that. And oh, I just, it's just not a trend that I'm willing to get on board with. Um, not for me anyway, but I do really like it. And I like this kind of like muted floral print as well. Very autumnal and pretty. Um, yeah, overall I like it, just not the sleeves. But I got this in a double XL, which is an 18. I say sizing is spot on. And this was 30 pounds, um, which again, it's not too bad. Like the quality is pretty good. Um, yeah, I think it's definitely worth that money. Just, just not digging the sleeves. Okay, I think I quite like this one. So another kind of really cute autumnal dress. This is, I don't know, this is like so soft. I'm so confused what this is made out of. So it's like a shirt material, but it's, it like feels ever so slightly kind of suede -y. Like it's really, really soft in this really nice kind of muted olive color. Um, so, it's a little bit big on top, but what's really cool is that this is elasticated, but just this panel back here, and then it has these kind of straps that you can kind of tie up at the front and it's all like attached and everything and kind of cinch it in there as well. Really nice kind of floaty material. Um, it's, I think it's a pretty decent length, but it does go down at the back, which I really like. So I actually thought this would look so cute with some over the knee boots, just like black boots if you wanna wear it out for dinner or something like that, but then obviously during the day you can wear it with tights. You can even wear this like springtime as well, like with some plimps or trainers. So many different kind of ways that you could wear this. But yeah, I absolutely love it. It's just a slightly more kind of tailored style dress, but it's like a chuck on and go dress, really, really comfortable and floaty. So I got this in a double XL, which is um, an 18. And I'd say sizing's probably spot on, but I would rather have it in a smaller size just because this top bit is like ever so slightly, for how I would want to wear it, I would just prefer it to be a little bit tighter. So I think I might get this in a smaller size, but this was 30 pounds. Um, but this is the kind of thing, like, I don't think this would really go out of fashion. It's like a shirt dress that you could wear year in and out. So I think it's definitely worth that money. And the quality of it feels really good. It's just so nice and soft. Anyway, that is everything for me, guys. Actually pretty impressed with that. I don't know why. I've just never really been that bothered about shopping in Zara. It's just not somewhere that I wasn't really interested in before. But now that I've done that haul... I actually think I'm gonna order from them a lot more because the stuff isn't as expensive as I thought it was. Don't get me wrong, there are some expensive bits on there, but there are also some affo really affordable bits as well. And they're really good quality. So yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna add that into my mix of online shops. My favorite item, hands down, is that kind of coat jacket thing I had on earlier. I am a thousand percent keeping that because I loved it. Thought that was amazing price as well. But I did also really like the jeans. It's just a shame they weren't high-waisted enough. So I'm thinking about trying out some more of their jeans as well. I have actually just filmed um, a new look, testing new look jeans video. If that is something that you guys like watching, let me know, because I could always do the same for Zara and test out loads of different styles of jeans see what they're like fit wise, quality, whether they're like her friendly or not. So let me know if that is something that you would be interested in. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.